All right, let's check on all the, on all the animals real quick. Here's my little round corral I made out of stock panels here. It's got a little regular old uh, friend of, uh, uh, co-worker, ex-co-worker of my wife's. I guess they got tired of doing chickens and they wanted to get rid of their chicken coop. So I was like, sure, man, I'll take it. So I throw that bad boy in there. Bada bing, bada boom, it's done. I usually throw the door open like lunchtime, let them run around. Give them a chance to lay in the morning, and then I just throw the door on them. That's it, guys. They're all running around the yard right now, except for that old broody girl. She's up inside of there rooting around. I don't know what she's doing. But I kind of let her do what she wants to do. That's kind of my thing. I, I don't know. I'm not it really into reading about chicken psychology or anything like that I pretty much let them do whatever they want to do I give them opportunity to to give me the things that I need and then I pretty much just leave them alone leave them alone that's the best bet let them do their thing they run around they eat their bugs and everything and uh, it's easy makes it a lot easier and, uh, intensive chicken raising you know it's a it's highly overrated in my opinion just let them run around let them be chickens let them do what they're gonna do and uh, i get all the eggs i need you know very very little feed very very little feed usually the i feed them just to just to coax them back in the house every day pretty much the only reason they get fed all right, let's check out old Thorny Goat. Here's old Sausage. What's up, Sausage Boy? He's the boar goat. He's getting there. He's starting to get some muscles on him. That's what we're looking for. He's, he's an asshole, and he will definitely try to butt you. And I've noticed with these boar goats, you can see their horns poke out. See how they poke out? That's really inconvenient. Really, really inconvenient. So, I'm going to keep moving before he jumps on my truck, which he has a tendency to do. So, let's see. There he is. I put him... Uh, I like to move him around a lot. I like my animals, especially the fur-having animals, like my goats, to have plenty of green. And it's summertime. And this is one of my better pecan trees that produces a, a nice large pecan. It's a, uh, you know, very marketable and uh, does good as far as paying paying dividends, you know. Oh hell, see if he's smart enough to get off that tree. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back to check him. Out. Anyway, so the threefold reason that I do my goats this way: one, a small corral like this allows you to move your goats around. They don't sleep on anything but grass. They don't walk on anything but grass. Dirt and shit combination of a floor is not good for any animal. So I like to keep my goats on grass all the time. Now during the day, since he's kind of eating this down uh, really well, which was another aspect of this, so I guess that's a four, four layer reason to do it this way. So the first reason, moving him around, keeping him on fresh ground you know number two reason having a variety of diet uh you know moving him around the property making sure he's always on fresh pasture to get him the the forage that he wants you know and that's what why well, i put him out there on these poles you can see i got one over there for in the morning and i got another one over here for the afternoon so he's not in the sun all day you know and that makes it easier on him and he gets as much variety of food as he wants and the third reason is fertilizer now you can spend money on fertilizers and stuff like that and that's fine you can do what you want to do but I've, I've noticed that one of the best ways to fertilize around trees is to just set up a corral around the bottom of a tree the animal is going to be happy under the shade of the tree and the tree is going to be happy because the animal is going to be shitting and every time it rains, it's fertilizing that tree. Because there's, you know, goat shit and the chickens get in there. So they root around in there. You can see how they've been rooting around in there. Maybe, I don't know if you can tell. But uh, 
yeah the underside of this tree was a before that bad rain we had last time was that a, a week ago something like that you couldn't even see the trunk of that tree you throw that goat in there he cleans it up good throw some chickens in there they clean it up good and uh fertilize your tree all at the same time so that's that let's move on move on see you later sausage all right yeah yeah the bottom of that tree looked like this this is just a little pecan tree that i'm raising up and i gotta go back and clean him off but yeah it was so thick you couldn't even see nothing man it was crazy all right let's drive over here and we'll go see the mama goats we'll go visit the mama goats there's tinkerbell tinkerbell laying underneath her big tree yeah baby you laying underneath your tree she sleeps underneath the giant oak sleeps underneath the giant oak like a good girl all day long and then at night she comes off her chain and she can uh, roam the property making sure we don't have no problems around here oh I can already see the mama goats have done drank all day water and kicked over the bucket we'll hop out this time check on everybody I already checked on them once this morning they think they're gonna get fed again but they are sadly mistaken but they do need water they do need water so let's get them let's get that bucket real quick let's get this bucket real quick hey mamas what are y'all doing huh what are y'all doing yeah you want me to get that bucket all right I got it there's Miss Ivy. There's Miss Miss Daisy. Miss Clover. And here's my one little unsullied little male. His name is Stewie. As you notice, I name all of my male goats after entree items. And I name all of my female goats after items that they eat. Ivy, Clover, Daisies. Stuff like that and they do good they have a 200 foot by 200 foot square pen with two different styles of houses and uh, yeah man they they're happy girls they're big fat girls she's about to get I think I'm gonna put old sausage on her maybe Ivy too I'd like to get a little bit more